What up, what up, Salvador Bravener here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. On this channel, we love to talk about crowdfunding and also how to turn your ideas into reality. How to actually turn your passion into profit. We talk a lot about monetizing your creative work. And specifically today, I want to make a video very specific. So if you're wondering how the heck does Patreon work with YouTube? What is a Patreon for YouTube? Or really just understanding this whole Patreon website. And maybe you've discovered this by watching a YouTuber's video or something like that. I wanna explain that today. Get down to the brass tacks, really make it easy to understand. And we're getting into that in just a second. All right, man, welcome back to the video. If you've watched any of my other videos, give me a thumbs up here. But again, my name is Salvador Brigman, and I lived in Brooklyn, New York for a very long time. So I was there for about six years. And while I was my time there, I got to meet so many different interesting artists, creative types, videographers, YouTubers, podcasters, people just doing such cool stuff. And this is also to me when a renaissance started to happen in the online world. So we started to see the emergence of kickstarter.com, which is a platform where you can run crowdfunding campaigns. Obviously, we saw the growth as well of Indiegogo. We saw so many other crowdfunding websites as well grow during that time and one of those was Patreon. So Patreon is a subscription-based crowdfunding website. This was started shortly thereafter Kickstarter. And it's basically a way where as a creator, um, you can actually earn income for the work that you're doing and the work that you love. As a patron, it's called you, the person who's supporting a creator, you are known as a patron. So a patron of the arts, if you kind of want to think of it that way. So for example, let's just say you come to a YouTube channel and this person is talking about join my Patreon campaign. What are they talking about? What the heck do they mean? What ends up happening if you click that link is you go to their Patreon campaign where there are different reward tiers, they're called, or membership levels. So different membership levels, for example, $5 per month, $10 per month, $15 per month, goes upwards from there, right? And you can decide, hey, if I want access to this person's community, I can decide to support at a particular membership tier, and I will then gain access to that. And each membership tier has different perks or items. Could be merch, could be, for example, access to live streams, could be bonus content, full-fledged videos, whatever it is that they're offering, they're different at each individual membership tier. So you, as a patron, decide, okay, I want to get access to that. That's really when the whole experience starts. And I do have another video out there as well, going through step-by-step, step, um, just from a creator, from a patron's perspective, how to actually support someone out there. So you can go and check that out if you want to. So that being said, what are some of the things you should be aware of? What are the things, some of the things you should know about? And what are some of the benefits of even doing this and actually supporting a creator? Let's talk a little bit about that. The first thing that you should be aware of is that there are different ways to actually charge you as a patron. So one is that you could be charged on a monthly membership basis, which is a lot of creators do this model, but there are some as well who will do what's called a per creation basis. So for example, whenever they release a new like documentary style video or something that's been very polished and well produced, they might decide to say, that's a creation that I'm going to then charge patrons for. So you'll know this ahead of time, but if you're supporting someone on a per creation basis, they're aiming to create a certain style of content. And every time they create that, then your card would be charged for that. Um, a monthly membership basis is exactly what it sounds, right? It's every single month, your card would be billed. Um, depending on how the creator set up the campaign, they might actually bill you initially when you enter the community or it might be at the first of the month. And all of this is easily spelled out, which you can look at when you're actually checking out on their Patreon campaign. And also you can look at their about section. It usually has a lot of information regarding this. The second thing that you should know is that like, what is the benefit of even doing this, right? Of joining the, I'd say the second, the most obvious one is like the fact that you get access to really cool insider perks and swag, uh, really cool things that they're offering, whether that's bonus content or footage or live streams or even behind the scenes of their creative process. We have a lot of people, I have a lot of students as well who are creators and also supporters of the arts, right? So they're patrons and also creators. And it's very common. So a lot of times we also just like to see how does our favorite creator do their magic, right? How do they actually make this, right? How, what does it look like behind the scenes? So sometimes it's also offered when it comes to being a part of a Patreon community. In addition to just getting access in terms of the reward levels, there's also the enjoyment, the good karma, man, of being able to support other people that you love. In the same way, it's very fun, right, for you to be a hardcore fan, for example, of a band and getting those VIP backstage passes, or if you're here in Miami, right, supporting a DJ and getting like a table really by the DJ booth or something like that. This is just a really cool way for you to interface in a much closer way with the particular creator. And that could be even go as far as messaging them through the Patreon platform. So I would say that in addition to the rewards, there's also just that cool feeling of knowing that you're helping other people. And like other, I'd say, 
uh, new age kind of novel things that are happening. And again, I said this is like a creator's renaissance, in my opinion, in the creator economy. There's just the removing, the stripping of the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers have been around for so many years. Corporations who really just don't even care about the art or creativity. Nowadays, you can actually support directly the creator that you love. And your funds go directly to that person. And then they're taking that and they're improving all of the artwork that they're putting out there, whether that's their videos, their podcasts, their writing, right? Whatever it is that they're trying to do online, they're able then to do that. And obviously Patreon does take a cut as well. So that being said, there can be tremendous, I'd say, um, feeling of like, this is great. I feel great. I feel amazing that I'm able to support this person. And in addition, like I said, you're stripping away the gatekeepers and you're going directly to the source. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrite today. Link in the description. The third thing that you should be aware of is really for people that are creators as well in the audience. So to me, this is actually one of the best ways in which you can almost act like a scientist. And by that, I mean that you can really investigate and do a little bit of research and development in terms of how to set up a Patreon campaign. And you can experience what it's like to be a consumer, to be a backer, to be a patron. And once you experience that, if you ever wanna start your own Patreon campaign, it's a heck of a lot easier because you've seen how other people are already doing it, how other people are plowing through obstacles, what types of rewards they're offering, right? How they're getting people excited and involved in their community, how they're announcing it as well to their community. You can witness and be kind of like a fly on the wall as you're experiencing all of that if you decide to become a patron. So I'd say the next big benefit or value is from an educational standpoint, you can learn all of this and it's really just kind of on the ground, right? You're really learning uh, in, in a very grassroots fashion. Another common question that I get from a lot of people are like, okay, Sal, uh, my, this guy that I like on pay on YouTube or this YouTuber that I watch, like mentioned this Patreon and it sounds kind of cool, but like, is it actually secure? Is it really secure? Am I going to be able to make sure that I don't have my information stolen if I actually take action on this, right? So the good thing to know is that Patreon is an extremely secure platform. I'm obviously not part of Patreon's team or in any kind of way. I'm an independent person. So you can learn more about that on their website, but they do also, uh, offer a PayPal option. So if you want to, when you're checking out, if you believe that PayPal is more secure, you could use PayPal as a way to pay for your monthly uh, payments when it comes to joining a creator's campaign. So if you want to you use your debit card, your credit card, and use their secure payment processing, or you could use uh, PayPal as a way to also check out. And there's a lot of information there as well. You can see some of the policies, you can learn more about that. And if you want to, you can really go down a rabbit hole if you want to and look through all that nitty gritty information. But I would say the vast majority of people have no issues. And in addition, the cool thing about this is another big question is like, Sal, you know, this sounds cool. You're selling me on this. Like, I like your style here, but what if I don't want to stay apart? of this campaign, right? What if I just wanna like check it out and then maybe bail, or like what about that? So for a lot of people out there that are kind of just like trying this out, very easy for you to join a community and then decide, you know what? I just don't wanna be a part of this anymore. I'm just not getting enough value out of it. And if you want to, you can cancel your membership. So that is completely up to you. And then the next billing cycle, it will not be renewed. Very simple, very easy to do. And I think also a great way to just kind of sample someone else's work and support them a little bit. In addition, the cool thing about this is that I would say a lot of people actually end up not only leaving the community, but rejoining it at a later point in time. And I've seen this happen time and time and time again. So it's not like just because you go out, doesn't mean you can't come back in, right? So there's, I mean, you might have a good deal what's just happening now that might not be available next time, but it is something where there is a little bit of flexibility there. My last point in this video is really for the creators in the audience. So we went over what is Patreon, a little bit of how it works, what you should expect in terms of your experience and the benefits that go into that. So if you're just a patron and you're just trying to get that information, I'd say at the, this is the end of the video for you. For other people out there that are creators and they really want to understand like, how could I maybe one day start one of these for myself? What if I wanted to do a Patreon campaign? What if I wanted to monetize my work and receive recurring consistent income for that work, which I love doing? Could I ever actually do that? So I got a lot of inquiries, a lot of requests for this. So I'm happy to announce that I now have a free course, which walks you through how to set up, get started, get patrons, and really set up an entire Patreon campaign, as well as some of the easy ways in which you can grow your brand, grow your following, get more subscribers, get more patrons, and actually grow your income over time. So if you want access to that free course, check out the link 
down below. One of the best things that you can do. And really just, again, surrounding yourself with positive information that's designed to move you forward in life. The other thing is that for those of you out there that like my teaching style, I've written 10 books over the years, and I also released a new guide showing you some of the tricks which you can use in order to actually get patrons. So if you want to invest a tiny bit into a guide, help support the channel, et cetera, you can go and check out my guide sharing with some of the tricks which you can employ that are proven to work to get you more patrons. This is a very slim, actionable volume, something that's meant to be more of a resource that you actually put into action. It's not meant for you to just enjoy reading, right, in front of a fire and just like reading through all of the different tricks. It's really meant for those people out there that want this a part of their war chest to go out there and employ these and to get results. So go and check out that guide if you're interested in that. Lastly, man, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you check out some of my other content out there when it comes to Patreon, when it comes to subscription-based crowdfunding. Um, I'm gonna leave you with one final note here, and that's wherever it is that you are in your journey as a YouTuber or your journey as a creative type or whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, this is the best and the easiest time to make it, to get something out there, to build an audience, to monetize an audience. It is literally in the entire history of the planet planets from back when we were cavemen. This is the easiest time in the history of the world to actually make it as a creator. So why the frick are you not doing it, right? And if you already are taking action, amazing. You should become a subscriber because that's who I love to have around me when it comes to people that are taking action, people that are dialed in, they're working hard. It's also just not about, you know, the inspiration. It's really about the tactics, the strategy. What are you doing week after week after week to move yourself forward in life? That's what my whole channel is about, is really helping you reach your full potential as an individual so you can impact others. And then we can also have that impact, which is a cool way through you when it comes to tons of people around the world that are sampling your content, that are watching your videos, they're experiencing the products that you put out there. This is all about you. And like I said, the easiest time in the history of the world now is now when it comes to getting started as a creator, growing your audience, monetizing it, et cetera. So hope that you take action on that. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Come subscribe for more content just like this and leave a comment down below if you want to show some appreciation but thank you so much my name is Sal and I will see you next time